Oh yeah, Alien Three. Alien yeah, so like you were saying, this was supposed to be the worst one. Yes. And I hate to say it, it's the best. It's it's not. It's the best so far. So far, for like sure. hands down. It's so much better. Like they spend time establishing the world. The characters mm-hmm. are interesting. They have the more... characters are so much better. I think that's what it is. is yeah. They. I feel like Sigourney Weaver takes a backseat to all these other characters. Yes, I would agree with that. She well, she um, does in all of them too, but the other characters have no development. They're just yeah, there. That's true. They don't change. They don't grow. They don't develop at all, and they're just there to die. And Sigourney Weaver is just there to survive. Like she doesn't really have yeah. much character to her. Oh, yeah, Frontiers. Yeah. Yeah. No, Frontiers is um, good. Sorry. No. Uh, yep. I don't know what I was saying. Yeah, this, I I definitely liked uh, Time of Lannister. I thought he was probably one of the is best that, characters. Is that who that was? He's so much younger in this. I like. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like, I saw him. I was like, where do I know him from? Like, I couldn't yeah, place it. About 20 years before Game of Thrones. Because I, when I was watching it, I was like, I I was like, is he one of the other robots from one of the other movies, just with a shaved head, to like try to throw mm. throw you off? Because he kind of looks like the he kind of looks like Lance Hendrickson, yeah, but uh, not like a ton, but like enough to where like a shaved head might might be enough to hide yeah. it, you know? It was it was a nice change of pace, like seeing him be a good guy. I kept waiting for him to end up like being the villain, and it. It didn't. Well, I expected I him a to be a, a robot. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought for sure. I, when he died, I was like, oh, man, there's there's too much movie left to not have him in this movie. Yeah. Well, he was her um, love interest. Kind of out of nowhere. Yeah, it was in a weird way. Yeah. Um, But I thought he was great. Mm-hmm. And uh, the other guy, Charles Dutton, I don't know what his name is in the movie, the black guy. Yes. Uh, I thought he was great. Yep. I want to say, uh, I don't remember. I'm so I I don't even pay attention to names anymore, yeah. especially in these movies when you know everyone's gonna die anyways. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I I know Ripley, and that's it. What I was thinking the whole time that kind of frustrated me was think about how much better number two would have been had they not mm-hmm. put Sigourney Weaver in it, right? Yeah. Leave her out completely, and then allow her to crash land into number three. Yeah, that you know what I'm saying. Been way better. Like if her, because it was in sequential, in in consequential, number two for, um, number three. Like everything that happens in number two, they just kill off right away. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like there's no reason for Newt in number two. There's no reason for her to save the 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 lieutenant. There's no reason, you know, all that stuff that happened in number two is just wiped away instantly. And I wonder why they didn't move forward with Newt at all. If there was like, was that the intention? It, I don't know. It kind of felt think, weird. I think there was like 10 years in between the two movies. So that girl was, you know, like 16. Well, I don't care about that. They could have used anybody. Oh, yeah. But that's probably. I'm not saying they, why they didn't use her. I don't, I don't care about her. <laughs> Also, I think it was kind of a, a tropey thing in the eighties to have a little kid sidekick. And I think they probably think it's still kind of tropey. Well, not like that. That like in the eighties you had um like that dirt bag Jones. little kid. Yeah. A little uh, <laughs> dirt bag little kid. <laughs> yeah. What else how else would you describe him? The street rat. Um the street urchin. You had Indiana Jones, you had uh in Mad Max, they did the same thing. Um, in this, I, there's a, there's a bunch, I can't think of them all right now, but they did it a lot where a little yeah. kid was like the person who helped guide the hero through because they had to become, they had to save the kid and make it like bigger than just themselves, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know this, this one was way more enjoyable the like you get way yeah. more invested in the story you care way more so about the way characters too long. oh way too long it's an hour too long it's two hours and yeah. 24 minutes about 
40 minutes too long. Yeah. It's just, it, it drags quite a bit, but it at least is building, you know, it's world building is plot driven, you know, like, or it's character driven, not plot driven. It's, you know, but it's, it's building on everything they're doing, right? You, you see the relationships between all the guys and how layered all of it is where you have mm-hmm. like the guy who's in charge trying to lead everyone but then you also have a second um set of uh hierarchy leadership yeah of leadership and it's just it it was really interesting um the i wouldn't ever was interesting. yeah i wouldn't ever watch it again like it wasn't like great uh amateur james is off to oh, bed no, i'm not gonna watch any of these again thanks for hanging out amateur james um it but it was way better than the first two the first two were so yeah. slow and boring boring the spaceships were not an interesting setting because nope. one you had no idea how big it was like it just yep. seemed like it went on forever in, and, an infinite ship yeah and it was, so it was like you never knew where you were in space like not in outer space but like in the spaceship yeah um, but you had a little bit more consistency and you could understand why it was so big in this one even with the third or the second one where they're on the alien planet, that still felt like it was always changing. Like you didn't really know where you ever were. There, were, uh, there was no, yeah. Fam- uh, what's the word? There's no familiarity. Yeah. No recognition, nothing like that. But in this one, they establish like, oh, this is this area. This is that area. We can get, if we can get the alien here, we'll be safe. And like, I don't know. There was a lot of, um, with the, the characters being crazy and being criminals, it gave yeah. them a lot of tools to play with, right? Like yeah. the guy who, you know, just went crazy and started trying to help the alien out. Like that oh, yeah. felt earned. Yeah. What's the, his name? Golik? I kept, at first I thought they were calling him Garlic. <laughs> That's what we used to call you when you weren't around. <laughs> Good old Garlic. Oh, Garlic Enixon over there. <laughs> Um, um garlic that's what it was but you know what i'm saying like it felt it didn't feel like just a plot like a, a way to advance yeah. the plot but it felt like oh no this this is logical for this character like even though it was an illogical choice it felt like his his mental illness dr- uh drove it you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. oh yeah but i don't know what do you think what's your overall opinion like I said, overall, it's it's definitely the best. The characters are all more the good guys, the bad guys are all more interesting. Sigourney Weaver was still blah, whatever. I'm just not a big fan of Sigourney Weaver. Yeah, I'm glad she um, died, but I think she comes back. I think that's what the resurrection really? is. Yeah, I, I, I uh, yeah, that's why it's called. Then that. why kill her? Because they didn't intend to bring her back. I, I, I did enjoy the concept of like her having the alien inside her i did now yeah. if ahead. i'm not mistaken it's not like the other times she has like a new queen right yeah that's what was the the biggest difference okay. she had a new queen in her side inside of her i felt i felt like that was that was interesting and yeah. like it wasn't like where automatically that she knew she was like a, a like a ticking time bomb mm-hmm. and she but then they they exploited it and used it to their advantage knowing that the alien wouldn't harm her they used it too many times, in my opinion. They, if she dies, there can't be a resurrection. I think she. I don't think, huh? You can only have a resurrection if she dies. <laughs> if she doesn't die, there can't be a resurrection. Um, they revealed it too early. <laughs> uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like in the mm-hmm. middle of the movie, they reveal that the alien won't attack her, right? Yeah. They should have, you could leave that scene in where the alien comes up, sniffs her, and like backs off. But you shouldn't know why. You know what I'm saying? Like she yeah. knows instantly. She's like, oh, it's because I have this thing inside of me. You know what I mean? Like there's like, yeah. it's, it's too, it's you, the audience knows what's going on too soon. And then, she goes back and finds it three or four times. And it's yeah, like, that's true. you're overusing this plot point for nothing because each time she does it, she's just like more confident. Like, Oh, he won't attack me. I know now, but let me try again and check. Oh yeah, no, for sure. But they leave out 
the resolution of that. They like yeah. they show her, you know, coming in contact and they cut away to add drama, but then she's just fine. And she's like, Oh, he just let me go. And it's like, Really? <laughs> That's it? So are now are we to believe that she was I don't know, implanted with this queen while she was in this the stasis chamber? Yeah. So that, that, when that happened? Yeah. In the beginning they show clips of the the face hugger in impregnating someone but you don't know who and that it was it was her oh okay there's like I couldn't fl- make that out there well it was, it was like all flash cut together and yeah, like i didn't like that it's like a fever dream type thing and you weren't sure what was going on but that's what that's what all that was about uh, okay so now the alien was this a different I, I feel like she said that this was a different kind of alien she did she said it's acting differently but i don't there was it was never really established what was different about it other it was kind it of smaller smaller yeah. yeah and faster yeah and cg which i hate it <laughs> i hate that this movie comes out a year before jurassic park and this is the garbage that they put in front of us well, as if jurassic park isn't going to look so fantastic so with jurassic park you had layered know, cg well, well, even like with the the bronchiosaurus, right? That scene that's always kind of referred to. Um, it's layered, right? You so you film your actors in front of the the backdrop with the tree and all that, and then you put the CG in, and then you put another background behind that, so you you get depth of the CG character. In this, they film the set and they put the CG right on top, and there's no. Yeah. It's really hard especially at this time, it's really hard to have the correct weight and movement and shadowing and all that stuff to fit in. And so every time yeah. you see it, you're like, oh no, that's that's pasted on top. This is not in the world. And so it's really off-putting. But I imagine when you see it, when it came out, you're like, oh wow, how do they do that? You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it, it's bad now because it's so much better. But at yeah. the time it was so new that- you know, you're like, oh, See, really impressed. Stuff like that, that makes me wish that I was an adult when Jurassic Park came out. Like, you can't you can't comprehend how good that looks as a kid because everything looks good as a kid, you know? Yeah. You can't, you can't, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You can't appreciate. appreciate it. Yeah. Like, I feel like if I was a kid and I watched Alien, I'd be like, whoa, that looks so real. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to know. I don't know the difference. Jurassic Park just looked like dinosaurs. But anyways. The, <laughs> that was a weird tangent. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I was 30 years older. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so like, yeah, and pretty much. Yeah. Um, I felt like. Okay, so uh, the I don't like I said I don't remember the guy's name, the black guy who lasted till pretty much the end, like yeah. how they have in all the movies. He he, I liked him, but he was his his allegiance was a little confusing at times. Yeah, like he couldn't make up his mind whether he like wanted to work with uh, her or not because he would like one scene he'd be like. He's like, why should I listen to you? You brought this in here, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And then like the next scene, they'd be talking about a plan. He's like, what about you? What do you think? Should we do this? Yeah. Like, do you trust her or not? Well, I don't know. It it just kind of, it felt like there was a couple times where he went back and forth. Like one time he'd be like snapping at her and like, I don't, I don't need to listen to you, blah, blah. And then the other, he's like genuinely trying to help her. I don't know. He kind of was all over the place. Uh, Kenton says, Jay Park is awesome. I was like Professor Grant in my awe of the movie. I was an adult. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. But how did he? How did he feel about Alien at the time? How did you feel That's about Alien at the time? Oh, I guess I don't have to ask the question. <laughs> Wait, please refer my question to him. <laughs> Kenneth and Taylor has a question for you. <laughs> but you did said how does he? You asked me what his opinion was. You didn't ask him. I blame you for that. Whatever. I don't need this. I didn't see it then. Not sure I saw it at all. Okay. Don't then at this yeah, point. Yeah, it's really you're, boring. You're fine. Um, but boring. I had young kids. Yeah, young kids make it hard to see good movies. Ugh, so true. My, But in fairness, my mom took me to see Jurassic Park 
whenever it came into the theater. I'm trying to remember if I saw it in the theater, if I saw it after. I definitely saw it young. That's one of the first movies that I saw in theater. Really? My first was Lion King. I was like four or five. Yeah, I think Lion King may have been the first, but I don't know. There was was a handful. Yeah, the the black guy in Alien 3, he he had an interesting interesting relationship with Ripley because, Mm -hmm. I mean, it starts off. I, I don't like how confident Ripley is. She's overly confident for not really developing her character enough, in my opinion. Like I know she's and not survived. Really ever accomplishing anything. Yeah, she thinks she destroys the alien in the first one. Instead, Doesn't. she drags it with her. Yeah. And then the second one, I so I don't get. So is this not this? This is not the same alien from two, right? This is a a random alien that showed up. It's a new implanted alien from a face hugger. The, where did it? Who? Where did it come from, though? Did she bring it with her? Oh no, they said it, she did. But it, it got implanted into the cow. Which is probably oh, why. That's right. That's, is, that's right. It's probably why it's different, because it was bred with a cow. It was a. Uh, was it? A, it was like an ox, right, or something like that. Yeah, I feel like cow was enough. Not even close. <laughs> um, Not even close. You know, I feel like uh, maybe that's why it was a different species. Why did they say? Why did they say that she brought it? Where did? Because she brought the facehugger. Okay. It came on so her this ship. Is the same face hugger that implanted her? I don't know. I because I and thought they can that face planter implant queens and like r- fighters or whatever they're called, warriors. Yeah, probably. Um, but I I felt like in the first two movies, when a face hugger implanted someone, it died right mm-hmm. away. That's what. It, well, yeah, that's kind of what it seemed like. But I think that's always because we saw them like cut it off or pull it off i don't know no it it got off by itself in the first one and then just shriveled up and died it's off i don't remember (laughs) um but yeah so it implanted itself into the cow which bore the smaller alien that was faster um but yeah it like the best part was the prisoners they were the most interesting. The alien was kind of yeah, lame. Absolutely. Oh, that's what I was saying. I don't understand Ripley's confidence. She doesn't do anything in the first two movies. She just survives. No, she's failed every time. And, and uh, she survived and everyone else dies around her, including <laughs> little kids. Father Ironheart says facehuggers typically die after they have had a nice hug. But in the setting up, in the establishing part of this movie, we only see one but there's two aliens implanted. So it, mm-hmm. it, it's hard to, there must've been two, I think. I don't, I guess, but um, I don't know. Um, or maybe uh, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> did you see the CPAP machine that looked like alien? I did not. That uh-huh. sounds terrifying though. Could you that imagine sounds awful. sleeping next to someone with that on their face? Uh, uh. So, Ripley is overly confident for not having anything done. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. She comes up to the black guy who says, you don't want to deal with me. I'm a murderer and rapist of women. And she's like, I must make you nervous and sits down right in front of him. And I was like, why? <laughs> what is that even like? What are you trying to accomplish? <laughs> you know, like what's You're your, like, no, I didn't you hear me. Like I kill you. Yeah. It, it's like, just, I'm not worried about you. Yeah. It was a very strange moment, but I did enjoy yeah. how he was like, she, she's like, I need you to kill me. This alien's going to, you know, it's, yeah. it's going to kill me anyways, and I can't survive it, and it's going to destroy everyone. And he's like, I'm not going to kill you. You're the only thing that we, the only tool we have against it, not because yeah. she was so skilled, but because the alien wouldn't attack her. He's like, I'm going to mm-hmm. use that. And he wouldn't let her die and ended up sacrificing himself to protect her, which was well i guess it wasn't to protect her but it was to kill kill the alien just to protect whoever was left alive yeah at that point like two guys <clears throat> what did you think of the uh the company oh, i hated that name <laughs> showing up right at the end um 
I, I don't have any thoughts on it other than was okay. So they had, oh, what's his name from the second movie? We from, just talked about this guy from the first the movie? alien or the robot. Sorry, no, no, from the was second, second one. one. You're right. Yeah. Um, I don't know whatever his name was. Bishop was that okay? So was that another robot? No, that was an actual person. So was he the one that these robots were based on? Because I felt like he got hit in the head and his ear came off. The side of his face was coming off. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they and called that was it. The just company. a regular guy, though? That's, I mean, that's what he said. He oh, started yeah, bleeding were... blood. And there was no milk pouring out of his head. So I, I believe them. And they kept calling people that, like the company man. Yeah, well, but, they, uh, they called themselves the company the whole time. The, yeah, like, we're it from felt the company. a little out of place. Yeah, uh, yeah, it felt unnecessary to me. I felt like leave the ending a- a- ambiguous, yeah. where you know you could have Ripley die and leave Please. the crazy guy, uh, Garlic Enixon, alive, and um, just that, like hope that someone shows up to save him. But you don't need the company to show up. It was dumb, in my yeah. opinion. How did you think about how the alien was destroyed? In the oh, that was weird. In the so we got so the black guy sacrificed himself in the pool lead. The alien yeah. got covered in the boiling lead, came mm-hmm. out, and the guy was like, "It's covered in lead. Don't put water on it." And they pour water yeah. on it, and the steam or the the change in temperature made it explode. Huh. Like it yeah. solidified the lead, but then the alien exploded. I thought that was. I thought it was interesting that they didn't do the space vacuum again. Like I appreciated <sighs> that, but yeah, the lead stuff was like, I don't know. I felt like it was enough. You didn't need to pop back out. You know, like I felt like they did enough work to justify it being dead. And the, that I last f- threat f- to destroy yeah. with water was like go- too goofy in my opinion. I didn't have a problem with that. I thought that it was once I saw it pop out, I was like, oh, now they just make, gave it like its own armor. Like it wasn't strong enough to kill it. And now it's covered in like lead. Yeah. But then they had died anyway. So whatever. it would, I think it would have been better instead of covering it in water, like pouring water on it and making it explode is just having mm-hmm. the lead solidify and just like, as it's chasing them, it's just slowing down, slowing it's down, slowly down until it just turns into a statue. Yeah. Basically. Like I, that would have been cool, I think. I've yeah, seen, I mean that. I guess that would have probably happened, anyways. Uh, Father Ironheart says, "I've seen aliens covered in liquid and then water on it. Much more scientifically accurate and exciting." I've I've heard about these these things. I've seen. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't. I've seen aliens covered in liquid and then water on it. Much more scientifically accurate and exciting, man. <laughs> man <laughs> you're not real man sorry man uh typing is rough tonight I, I typing is always rough for me um but yeah no i think to me that's what i would have done being a non-professional writer who's never made a movie um liquid lead you've seen it happen yeah. it's much more accurate it's much more scientific than the effort. In real in real life it's more exciting, is that what you're saying? Or it's more exciting to do that than the space vacuum? That's that's the part I'm I'm missing. What <laughs> Okay. I'm just gonna lurk and use emotes when appropriate. I appreciate it, Father Ironheart. Um but yeah, like I was saying, not being a professional writer and not having ever made a movie, just someone who watches movies and has bad opinions about them. I think yeah. what would have been more interesting is to have it slowly solidify and then, you know, barely survive that. I agree. But that would have been cool. It doesn't really that. matter. Um, so, so for all intents and purposes, mm-hmm. she is dead. Should be. So okay. what I know or think I know is she mm-hmm. comes back, but she's going to be. Re- she really comes back in the next one. A robot. Ah, Pretty sure is she going to know that it's a she's big a spoiler, robot? But I don't think so, but I think she finds out by the end. Oh. Sorry if I ruined the next movie. 
I have not I seen it. I think I've... they ruined it by making it. <laughs> but that's what I heard. Um, is it long? I bet it's freaking it's long. It's probably really long. All of these it's have been three really hours long. long. Is there anything else about Alien? Alien 3? Um, no. Yeah. Charles Dance, the guy who plays Tywin, I, I would say he was the best part of this movie. Yeah. I Like, I enjoyed all, all their relationships in this way more than the other. Yeah. S- six hours. It's just more interesting characters. Resurrection is six Ugh. hours long, Taylor. All right. That's fine. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't really have a ton to say. Like, I feel like we've said everything about the series in the first two episodes. This one was better, but it's still, I don't quite understand the love for the whole franchise. Nope. But, uh, yeah. So next week we will if continue. If they were all as good as this one, it wouldn't be worth watching. Yeah. Next week we'll continue our conversation w- about the franchise with Alien Resurrection. Blah. Like us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook, do all that stuff, and we'll be back. I'm not.